After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with all of us gathering, 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 Ugh. gathering in the restaurant. Jeez. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course, it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now. Hmm. Stupid fool. Excuse me? Who was that? Oh my. Huh? Did you hear something? Hey! It it's Nekamaru! That was Coach Nekamaru's voice. Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer What's up? <laughs> I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you. You keep what if you if you what the fuck? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> eh, that's not cool. I was up all night working all my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in the the seasonings in the restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. <laughs> uh, don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important. All right. This. It took me all night to come up with it. My. Is that is that a Nekamaru doll? Doll. I'm Mini Maru. You're alive. What? Huh? Mini Maru? I took some parts of him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Uh, uh. Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. Well. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. Don't be stupid. Your stuff. <laughs> Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa! Whoa, hey, uh, that's a bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyways. Mm. And as long as we have it, uh, we won't forget, you know, about Nekamaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So, if we're gonna pr if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running it away. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you saying something like that. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. Um, In the end, Gun told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Uh, Miss Sonia, what did you think about my little pep talk? Oh, my. Oh, did you say something? Are you kidding me? What? I was, I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Mini Maru. Man. Uh, if only, if only half as happy. What the fuck? I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sword muscles and pressure points too. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's amazing. Of course. Of course. I made it after all. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. My dog is... What the hell are you doing? Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey! Then, that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still... But even if we do avoid him, what are you gonna do if he approaches us? Naito suddenly change was uh, Naito sudden change was really fucking weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Anyways, Hajime, isn't it time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? You know what Naito said during the trial? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together! You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard! What did he mean by except for Hajime? Let me just fix my microphone real quick. Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope Speak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh. What? Is that it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something that I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. 
I thought I ho I got into Host Week Academy because I had a talent all along. But shit. My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Host Week Academy meant I had to finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course. She's right. No matter what, you're our friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan, fear is grateful for, wait, fear is grateful for the danger. What? Hey! The hell? You're saying it all wrong. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you? So everyone's here. It, it was a real close battle. I am sorry. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe because you can't see me? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Oh, you saw me. Yeah, that's right. The mono beast this time was very strong. Gross. Don't get close to me. Get out of here. No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean the blood off? What are you trying to eat? <laughs> yeah, I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that never has been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Ah. I see. <laughs> what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of Shabba Shabbas from all of You Can Eat Restaurant. What the fuck? Shabba Shabba. What the hell? Um. Don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can get off this island, you better go to a new island. Well, it's true that I don't really expect don't much. But, said we... Wait, but who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously we're gonna go, dumbass. Huh? So. Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. Because if we, if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through the crap in one blow. Fight? Seriously? That fearsome group is so-called world eater for some reason, you know? Wait, that fearsome group is called world eater? Oh yeah, for a reason, you know, whatever. Why you? Don't go forgetting about... Don't forgetting... The, the, fuck! Don't forget what you said earlier! Hey, hey, hey! Dumbass! I only said... <laughs> Dumbass! Hey, dickhead! I only said that I was... I don't know why I'm laughing at that. I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. What? Don't brag about it. Settle down. Settle down. Simmer down, y'all. If you have the power to fight amongst yourself, then direct the power towards our enemy. Right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. <laughs> I love Fuyuhiko. Damn right. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Anyways, now's not the time for us to be bickering. Mm. I don't really get it, but when the Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. Oh, all right, I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to the new island. Starting to get the Future up. Foundation, Monokuma, Monomi, I'll crush them all at once. What? Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know? Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our face were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island, but the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department, and that filled me with a strange uncomfortable feeling like a small bone was lodged into my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Chapter 5 Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair With the Mono Beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. What the fuck am I looking at? Last island. Enormous buildings tower everywhere as the entire island was once a gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. What the fuck? Okay, I'm assuming this is the last chapter that we're on. I hope it's the last chapter. God damn, this series been going on for far too long. I started this shit in like September. 
I didn't think it would take forever, man. I just I just wanted to play it before before V3 came out. Now V3's out, and I gotta still play that. Is this a secret Monokuma? Oh, it is. Okay. Hit it, Monokuma. Got Fuyuhiko here. What you find? I was wondering who was... <coughs> Go sit down. My dog's like running around like he's crazy. Go sit down, man. What the hell are you doing? I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected Akane, though, not you. I was lured by the smell or I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway. Looks like this street is full of food vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. Is this the only thing? Nothing else we can check? Alright, leave the area? Sure. See you later, Fuyuhiko. Okay, gonna run over here. Oh, speaking about running and stuff like that. Wrong button. My bad. I'm gonna press square. Time to check our pet. Are you still alive over there? Oh, I gotta clean up after you. A little ugly ass snake. Snake of me. I'm sorry. Why do you have so much despair on you? Despair meter. Huh. I've been taking care of you. Don't worry. I actually thought you were gonna die, like, real soon. Factory. Plushy factory. Huh. Okay. Oh, hey, Jackie. White Smoke is building with the building in the back. It's some kind of factory. But it's got a Makuma's face on it. I'm sure it's a shady factory anyways. Hajime. Oh, Hajime. I like- I don't know why I like that, where she's just like, Hajime. It's pretty cool. Oh, Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? What's up, Chiaki? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly looked around inside, yeah. but since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then, do you want to go inside together? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Hmm. Yeah, why are you hesitating? Goods Warehouse. You. Hey, Hajime. You're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? Yes. How could you tell? Well, I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So, instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I guess you're right. Alright then, I'm going inside. dum de dum de dum Plus your factory inside. What the hell is this? Was being matched factor one after another and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma? Wait, so are these plushies or the actual robots? Eh, trees? What the hell? The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through the enormous machine. What the hell is my dog doing? Hey, go sit. Once again, we are back. Because we're we're constantly being interrupted by my dog. Acting like a fucking asshole. Anyways, the conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. No, okay. I just wanted to see if he's gonna say are they dolls or robots. The monokumas are being tossed into a gigantic basket one after another. They better not be real. I picked one in my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Um. Monokuma plushies? Ah, the real monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. 
but unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. Huh. Isn't that resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Life-size plushies? Huh, I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich. But you made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's said uh, done. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. Why the fuck? What? Why'd you turn me back around? Uh, I see. So this place is manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? There's a lot more Monokuma's merch and good warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I don't feel like but going. Still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you going to do? You're right. Then we should go there for just a little while. Let me pick up this secret Monokuma. Uh, I've been found! The hidden Monokuma? What? Leave here? Yes. I would like to leave here. Let's check out that warehouse. Without thinking, I peeked into a pile of stacked cardboard boxes. Russell, Russell! There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First there was a Monokuma archive in the fun house, and now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot, popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. Okay. Tons of books. There are a bunch of books stacked up high. What world are these? Monokuma's poetry collection? How stupid. Who the hell is going to read this crap? Hey, hey. There's another book here, too. Let's see. Monokuma's Most Precious Moments. See? That's the actual title of the book, but it's like a collection of nude photos. Monokuma is already naked. I know. The fuck? Ton of CDs. He's selling some mixtapes on the streets of the NYC? What? All this stacked up stuff is a bunch of CDs. Mm. I thought these were gonna be video games, but they were just music CDs. The jacket says Monokuma's collection of songs and ballads. Is he planning to release an album? Mm. Character songs are all the rage these days, but I'm not all that interested in... And divert... What the fuck? Divert... Divert... Diva? Divert... What the fuck? Do rev active directive works? Is that the word? I don't know. I never heard of the mascot selling his own character song. Plus, this looks like he's already produced his 100th song. See, the 100th act is a festive psych pop dance rap that he performs with all his might. I don't even know where to begin. Psych pop? What? Psych pop. The fuck? Monokuma panel. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Then they stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, that main attraction will be my life size Monokuma plushies. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Enough already! You have no business sense anywhere, so just stop no, it. No. Hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be popular as Pogs who are in the 90s. Fucking Pogs. Fucking Pogs. Hey, hey. Uh, don't you remember how long those, st <laughs> those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you already committed a major mistake. Because there's there's no merch of me. My little sister. Oh, Manomi, my little sister. Don't you know that that Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? No, not a tortoise. Hey, um. A long, long time ago, there was two old guys. Hey. Two old guys living in there. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Oh. 
Huh? Did you even need the old guys in the story? So, even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even know. You don't even have one good ounce of fashion sense. You did this to me. You're not the one who has no fashion sense. Really? We're going JoJo now? way of snapping back <laughs> but honestly I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels so whoever wants to decorate the room please do as much as you like Here. come on what are you waiting for <laughs> Hajime let's run y you're right we ran out of the warehouse narrowly avoided Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal It's like he just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Well, I'm out of here. Oops, my bad. What I what I just do? Okay, good. I wanted to leave. It's gonna run. I'm gonna run over here. Uh, Jabberwock Armory. Seems dangerous. Oh, seems really dangerous. Hmm, the thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here too. It looks really dangerous. I, I just said that. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. Huh? I like the strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with his fist. <laughs> that goes for women too. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. What the fuck? What? No thanks. Boob pillows? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey Sonya, what's up? Um. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather right. uh, expensive. I don't even know what the fuck that word was. I just skipped it. Extensive? I think that was the word. Ah, whatever. The... Where, where is it? These might prove useful when it comes time to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problemo. Um. A course in modern warfare is required class in our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this? Seeing this country never ceases to baffle me. However, weapons are only weapons when human starts to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, there's nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, the stuff is base probably won't be useful for us. Wait, what? Unfortunately, the stuff in the base probably won't be Please useful wait. for us. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I've discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator set seat. I was about to say set seat. Uh, that's the Future Foundation insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma and it was placed rather austic what the fuck? Autensely. I don't know I don't know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Um. Oh, I'm sorry, I had the yawn. Beyond what is written here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberwock Island redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is the plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a center headquarters. What? A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so this island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allows them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? Is that true? The maintenance here has been way too attentive. The item at the supermarkets are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could the Future Foundation- could that be your Future Foundation's responsibility? Blah, 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 blah. But, more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um. 
I cannot discern this from the passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words what? mean. However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you realize that guidebook in Jabberwock Island is the li in the library? Yes, I do remember that. It was written it was written there that the Central Island houses a large administrative building. However, we cannot find the building anywhere. We even we even comment we even commented on how strange it was, right? However, we left a comment and a like and a subscribe. That's what we did. But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for its headquarters, could it be the same building? They were planning to rebuild it and use it as a Future Foundation headquarters, or so it's written. What the hell? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell is going on? Perhaps. You were so distracted by all of the horror situations that kept happening one after another. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. A uh, more pressing issue. I have to pronounce. I have to enunciate my words. And that is the mysterious. Is the mysterious? Is that is the mysterious? Fuck. And that's the mystery of the island. But what's what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Huh. Okay. Oh, hey, Monokuma. What's up? I knew you could do it. Give me my money. My shmoneys. Leave here? Yep. Ain't really nothing to look at. Mm, sea King Industries. Let me... Sorry, I had to fix something real quick. Okay... Are they making Mono Beast here? That looks like a mono beast. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Sea King Industries. Huh? That's a company that specializes in manufacturing electrical insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, it's a pretty nice facility. Uh. I guess so. I only read about them in the pamphlets next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue What's here. This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. That looks like one of the Mono Beasts! This machine? It's making another machine? The finishing product looks like the model after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't an animal machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beast? Is there any chance that these Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beasts were created here. Fine, fine. Yep, that was the place hey, for. Hey. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced that a place like doesn't exist, okay. right? That's why it's just fine. Something wrong with you. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who convinced. Wait, what? It doesn't matter who's convinced. <clears throat> Fuck! It doesn't matter who's convinced, cause I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is a manufacturing, uh, is a malfunctioning machine part. What the fuck is wrong with me? This place is ma is manufacturing machine parts. Why are they, why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in the first place? Does this mean Monokuma took over the place and modified it to do this? Damn, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, I would like to leave. I should look more for what? For this Monokuma? This Monokuma right here? Excuse me, did I just see a robotic human? What the fuck is that down there? What? The automated machine looks like it's making something. Is it a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Are you serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Did you think Nekamara was made here? Was it's similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufacturing uh, why would a company that ma manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation too. 
Got anything else to say, Kazuichi? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? What? Why? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just too- ch it's just so childish. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I can find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his stories ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it, it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story. So what was written in the email anyways? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Ka Kazuichi? I don't think that's a manga. And these riots were caused by high school students. I, ser I mean seriously, it's not realistic yeah. at all. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dis dissatisfied and frustrating with society. Until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents started occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spread throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? Sounds a lot like World Ender, idiot. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because it wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on the scale and total impossible. <sighs> God damn it, Kazuichi. I rather believe. I better. Mm, I never believed that for a second. But I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say he's just made up story? <laughs> Of course! I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but there's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Listen, I know the Netflix movie for Death Note wasn't the best, but come on, Kazuichi. Come on, Death Note's the shit. Y you're right. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King's Industries, but it's not anymore. After this island became an uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and ma modified it without permission. He did it all just to shock us. That's the reason. It's, it's not so weird. The whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this shit. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. It sounds like something that will happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening is reality. It's definitely unsettling. Definitely unsettling. Let's leave. Yo. Oh. Hey, Fuyiko, what's up? Hey, Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up? Well, I was thinking, you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I think I've explored everywhere at least yeah, once for right. now. There's only like three places I went to, right? Nope, nope, four places. My bad. Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined up with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up Wait. there. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know Fuyiko left the area, he actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make... <clears throat> It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over the streets with the food to hand. <coughs> I said the food's at hand. I meant to say the food stands. That's what happens when you read too much. You begin, you begin to mess up, your, mess up your mind, your face mind, your mind face. Time for us to eat food and hang out like a bunch of cool guys. Damn, that's all the people we have left in our group, including me and Komaeda. Shit. All right, looks like everyone's here. Uh, what about Nagito? What about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. 
I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what's he even doing. So, how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Mm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However, However I believe there's no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well, are we sure about that? Huh? huh? What are you saying? If it's not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this oh, island. Yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking hey. about. Manomi works with the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted that she pretty much admitted it at this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Manomi has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Hmm. Then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually our ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait. Even if they both oppose one another, it's not possible that they are both our enemy. Starting to get pumped up. Like a three-way battle. It's kind of hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor? Kazuichi, what the fuck? Where's my gun? Where did I leave that? Cause you really... Kazuichi, what the fuck? Why do you think everyone's the traitor? Damn it. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled. No way. You're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Kazuichi Soda, shut up. Yeah. Yes. Listen. Uh, there's never was a traitor. Monokuma lied oh to us. My. Lied? Well. Is this simply a false and... <clears throat> I need a drink of water. God damn it. It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we could be suspicious of each other. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we've been endured together? Weak? How weak? K Komaeda? Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you desperately try to run away. Despair. That weakness is hopelessness. Nagito? Okay. Care. I can't speak. Shit. Care to elaborate? Naito, where you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where you thought process. Wait, what? I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? Oops. If I compare you guys to hamsters, well, I get yelled at by the weakling who dropped out. What? That is. What is that? Now then. You ask, where have I been this whole time, right? Well, well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone. I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Excuse me? Are you talking about you talking about Byakuya? Huh? Huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys only reached that stage. Yeah. What stage? You're not making any sense at all. Not making sense. <laughs> Fucking Monokuma doll. Jeez. I mean, not Monokuma doll. I meant <laughs> Nekamaru. But still. If you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byakuya, a survival of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right. Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does it mean? That is an order. The issue is not what it means, but take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonya. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. So have you, Sonya. You really have, to be honest. Uh, I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witnessing to. I don't like it either. Well, I never liked it in the first place. This is troubling. Ah, uh, looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually. To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. 
but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor. As I have already said, there is no traitor. Heh, <laughs> I bet in the end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? Heh, <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, I will. This is exciting! I will become the ultimate hope. Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now then. I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Because the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? I hope it's the last, to be honest. This game needs to fucking end now. <laughs> Jesus. Naito, what does it mean? Bye now. Bye. <laughs> Naito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning to? Could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me? A kill? Who he's gonna kill? Right. Probably you. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Right. There's no such person. I mean, the notion of one of us being given. No sir, one of us has been deceiving us all along. I'll never ever believe that. Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if it's whoever it has forgotten? What if it's... Wait, what if it's whoever it has forgotten about it? Oh, wait, what? You mean like how we forgot our school memories? We forgot that we were the traitor? What if the traitor has forgotten they they're, that they're the traitor? Just like how I've forgotten I don't have a talent. Or how... God damn it. Or how Mekon forgotten all that crazy shit. Ah. Well, regardless of who he's tr targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? right. Now we gotta tie him up again, force him to stop this the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekamaru's not even here anymore. Yeah, I got not. Wait, what? I got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Fucking Nekamar. Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi's right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to fit we have to act fast. But what's an indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. Or that someone's gonna die! For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Huh. So I guess I'm heading to my room then? Because my room's right here. I have no reason to go anywhere else. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Look at my Monokuma collection. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as Nightmare hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic things. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for... <clears throat> I really need a drink of water. Holy shit, my... Like... <coughs> it feels like sandpaper. Holy shit. Anyways, I should get some sleep for today. Rest my mind for a while. And then, I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. Actually... Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with the erasers or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I thought a lot of trouble causes that. Wait, what? I'm, I'm becoming delusional and I can't even read straight. That's right. When I was being tainted, mm, tainted, trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. 
one was a scroll named Sir Diet Diet Rich, Diet Diet Rich, Sir Diet Rich, and the other one was a fox named Chalk Chalk Junior. To be honest, Chalk Chalk Junior was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs the whole time. That's why Doctor Diet Rich, Doctor, my bad, Senior Diet Rich, would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get really happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Die Rich Old Undies. Also, this one time, the three of us went to the steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Cha Cha Jr. said, With fire. Dr. Dyer, Doctor, I keep calling him Doctor. Senior Diet Rich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Cha Cha Jr. He made Cha Cha Jr. Ab abduct the font and drown it. Then he saved what the fuck did he save that drowning fawn himself? And he made Chalk Chalk Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyways, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in Savari Park. That's right until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Chalk Chalk Jr. Foxes and squirrels natural enemies. <laughs> You're a dickhead. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Diet Rich Sr. He had been eaten. Good, good thing I immediately tattled to the male employee so he could put down Chalk Chalk Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said what back the then. Gee, squirrels have it rough. <laughs> they, they have so many natural enemies. What the fuck?